I really Ooh, love Charlie's fat nipples. Up, guys, Beautiful. it's your boy Dre up here oh. and today is episode on. 95 of Drivecast. We are here with CJ, Nina, and Jay. And All right, a bit more enthusiasm, mate. Yeah. You know, look at the enthusiasm we're putting in normal videos. And today Where's that? we're going to talk about stuff. Should we start talking about PewDiePie? <laughs> and, and other stuff. Let's talk yes, about PewDiePie. Well, we've, got, wait, wait, we've, we've got that topic, but we've got a lot of other things to speak about. There's... We'll be allowed to introduce it, we'll just go by the flow. Well, well to make people stay. Well, That's your issue if you can't get people to stay. <laughs> to make people stay. I don't close my eyes like that. You, when make, you do make, some weird shit like where you lean your head forward. What you do when you are concentrated, you go like this, you go. And you're like, you go over a tick. Like, so basically. Um, and then you carry on talking about said topic. Anyway, we're going to talk about Pewds first. PewDiePie! PewDiePie, Yay! something big, ah! controversial has happened <gasps> within the YouTube community. And I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off at them fucking idiots. Fucking yeah, stupid clan, idiots. Yeah, white people. Dumb, moron, poopy heads. World. Um, does someone else want to lead this topic? Right, so PewDiePie, the number one subscribed YouTuber on YouTube, has decided <laughs> at 50 million subscribers that he is going to delete his current YouTube channel. Now, he also stated that he's going to create a new channel, and he actually did tweet a while ago that he wanted to get rid of a lot of dead subscribers, so he felt like re now was the perfect time to restart. And it would actually send a strong message to YouTube, their biggest YouTuber quitting. Now... This has come to a lot of speculation. You even see now people jumping on the bandwagon. You have IGN. Uh, what's the other place? The um, Social Social Blade. And now even the BBC are reporting on it. Are they? Uh, yeah, I saw earlier. The BBC? <laughs> yeah. He does live in England, in all fairness. What has that got um, to do with anything? That's ridiculous. Well, the BBC that's, are, re that's are reporting on this. Sorry, but That's if there's not, no, 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 sorry, but if there's not backlash, yeah, I don't, I, the BBC, is it, is this like under some of the main articles or no? Is it like one of the small articles? It's probably one of the smaller articles, but yep. BBC News, PewDiePie quit plan prompts YouTube reply. If you don't believe me. That's still, that's mad, that is. Yeah. BBC. I... <laughs> the BBC. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. But overall. the you think that does, holy this... shit. And PewDiePie actually uh, tweeted that at 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, Greenwich Standard Time, or Greenwich M Median Time, whatever it is, PMT. British Standard Time. Yeah, British poopy time. Um, he's going to delete his channel tomorrow on Friday. And by the time this is up, he's either pro either going to do have done it or not have done it. So, so we would have done it by then. Yeah, okay. he would have done it by the time this goes up. So, so what do you guys think about this? I think personally... Well, I, I have a lot to say about that, but I, just before, I want to just say, why has it actually come to this point where a, a, a site that was made for people to express their creativity in whatever way has become so fucked to the point where people are actually scared <laughs> for the yeah. site itself? Not just scared it, for the site, but scared for their livelihoods. Yeah, so especially people, if you're like a bigger YouTuber. Exactly. People are making, they're living off this. You know, people genuinely have this as a hobby. It, it YouTube's become, I would say, like a part of the internet as a whole. I don't really class YouTube in the same place as Twitter and Facebook. No. I'm because not sure it's about just, you, Jay, but for me, YouTube's taken over the role of TV in my life now. That same. too. And, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to sound like, oh, woe is me, but... For me, YouTube has literally put me in a position where I know what I want to do with my life. I was before I started this last year. I I was very confused to what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go into normal work, and I'm not saying YouTube will take off for me anytime soon. Who knows? But I don't. I can see this like as something I can. I want to do. I want to put effort into and and, and develop into a career. Whether people think that's sell out or not, I don't give a fuck. That's genuinely what I want to do for the rest of my life I, I know what i want to do and it's this and the fact that it might be i'm not i it, hopefully i'm just hopefully this is just a hiccup because youtube has been through hiccups before but hopefully this is just a hiccup but it's worrying what if this it's, what it's, if it's, it fucks it up to the point where 
I mean, it, it just crumbles as a whole, and people just stop you. What What if it fucks up? Like basically, I I'm mean, saying. like there's been a lot, like way too many hiccups to the point where it can just be classified as a hiccup. I feel like there's something genuinely wrong with the site right now. Yeah. I mean, but like you've seen these, diff- you've seen like these things happen time and time again, and within closer things to each other. I mean, before in the past, you did have a lot of times where YouTube kind of broke, but it was never to the point where it's gotten to where you're being unsubscribed from people you can't even subscribe Can to people yeah yeah so um the whole subscription thing uh, pewdiepie touched on this in his video that before he made before he supposedly deleted his channel you know obviously when this video goes up um and how they're kind of leaning more away from the subscription model that makes no sense to me because yeah they give away plaques for 100k a million yeah and then they brought the 50 million one or whatever 10 million one in so they're rewarding. Yeah. They're still rewarding people for the subscription model. Surely, if you wanted to lean away from that, you would not give yeah. away uh, like or make bigger ones because they made ones which are bigger now. Like the hundred K ones are bigger now than they used to be. Yeah. Mm. One so, thing I uh, I sense. I don't. One thing I don't understand is um, I've seen this with multiple people where they say they're just too lazy to click on the subscription the the subscriptions button. And I'm not that way. I usually watch like everything in my sub box. Although the sub box do break every now and then, the fact that if you just type in, I, I remember like back in uh, 2013, you just type in YouTube.com and it would bring you straight to your subscriptions feed. You know, it will show like all the videos that you're subscribed or all the people that you're subscribed to who uploaded that jet de- de- uh, that okay. day. Yeah. And um, you go to YouTube's home right now, and the first thing I see is. Uh, 12 recommended videos, um, a, a line of Watch It Again, and then a bunch of recommended channels. Um, for me, it's Watch Mojo, Theo, huh. recently uploaded, Slap Train, James May, etc. etc. So et cetera. obviously, I'd be so, like, we've been playing a lot of GTA in it. I don't think you realize all of this. I'm going to put my show my webcam for this if I can. I'm not sure if it comes around all the way. Um, it does. It's literally just GTA 5 glitch videos. I don't understand. Nah, it's not going to do it. It's a, it, it is literally just GTA 5 glitch videos and all I've been watching is import export stuff hmm. and it's literally just top 5 safest hacks and 3 steps to become a billionaire modded lobby James May tr- trying GTR launch control and that's it in their defence to be honest I don't like in their defence now the stuff that's in my recommended is stuff that I usually watch it's related so I can't really say, oh, it's 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 feed it's trying to feed me shit. Well, I've got but, I've got like, Jeremy Kyle in mine. I've never watched. I get a lot. Of, <laughs> I get. I tend so, to get a lot of garbage. But, like, I recommended. I don't know YouTube. I it does. It's becoming less and less com- like cozy. It's cold. It's becoming it's, more it's, and more unstable. That's the issue. Yeah, quite, it, it's it's losing that 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 sense of humbleness it had. It, it's becoming just more cooperated i hope that um i hope really youtube takes in consideration that supposed letter that pewdiepie has sent them or sorry email that they sent um i well considering he is the biggest youtuber full stop no hopefully the biggest hopefully that that is a big like okay well (laughs) he's saying something he can spread the message and we don't want that hopefully they care enough I mean, this bitch Susan talking about fucking what that message that she sent out earlier this year. Some and what? with PewDiePie, the thing is, is I think they they just they have to they they have to listen to him because if you if you think about it, he he's definitely in a position where he could be heard because one he's the biggest YouTuber, two he has a YouTube Red series, and three he was in YouTube Rewind and he does shit for YouTube anyway. So I don't I wouldn't see why they would ignore him. But yeah, then again, it's YouTube. YouTube. Series. I think this could be a scenario where he deletes the channel and then, like, he's a bit on the back burner because he hasn't got that leverage anymore. I don't think... I don't think if it's really... If they, if they really don't listen to the community and it's really that bad and it's, like, it's got to the point now where, like, it doesn't matter what we do, if, there's, if we're screaming and they're not doing anything, so what if the biggest YouTuber deletes the channel? They're still not going to be affected. They'll bring on the next big one. I mean... Hmm. Then again, like the people itself won't forget at least what he's about to do. Yeah, but see, uh, like, like in mind, like, YouTubers are disposable to them because they have so many of them. Like we are disposable. That do you think they're gonna give a fuck if people stop making videos? No, because there's billions more doing it. Like it's yeah. ridiculous. 
Like, I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah. PewDiePie goes, so they can spring on the next one that's closest, and then they'll bump him up. Try getting beat as one thing, one thing that I like about PewDiePie, about him explaining the stuff, is the fact that he usually speaks from multiple point of views. Where I remember when he made his original video back in like April talking about YouTube and the shitty things about YouTube that was like three minutes long, where he basically relayed information that I think Markiplier said in a video. Mm. Uh, actually, no, that was just about YouTube drama, but he also touched upon like the current state of YouTube and how it is right now. And then KSI made a response to it saying, YouTube is fine. Mm. You fucking idiot. You don't look at it you, you don't look at it from multiple multiple perspectives. I know PewDiePie we, does. We were talking about this before and it's kind of a bit different, but it's like what Jay was saying about Donald Trump earlier on. He was saying that he doesn't know what it's like to live like a not lavish life. And KSI has very much been on that level where he's been up there since he started pretty much. He did it mm. for what, like three or four months before he became like at the top? And like did since it? then, pretty sure. When did he start? I, I, I remember him getting popular in year nine. So, uh, I, and Modern Warfare 2 came out year eight or seven? Eight? Eight. Yeah, eight? Seven. Oh, no, seven. I, I was playing nine year seven. So seven. he would have been making videos late year seven. So, yeah, about a year before. And then he blew oh. up on a mad level. So it's like KSI's then, it's like he's kind of KSI's um main channel, which I'm pretty sure is what he made first. He made it in 2009. Yeah. So it took him pretty much a year. So realistically, to, it's like to, for most YouTubers, let's be real, who aren't just gonna blow ridiculously like that, they're on that bottom level for a long ass time. Like that's not. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I remember Theo saying this before, like, that first one to a thousand is the hardest. After that one to a thousand, it's not too bad. Or, like, even one to ten K. Like those yeah, that's what he said. It was zero to one K and then one K to ten K. And then after that, it's just a bit of a grind. Mm. Yeah. But it's like, when you when you do that, just like that, it's like you don't really I'm trying to. I'm just trying to look right now. If if you know Peter Pie does happen to delete his channel, it, who would the biggest gaming YouTuber would be? And I just looked this up right now, and I'm pretty sure it would be Vanos Gaming, because KSI has 15 million and Markiplier has 15 million, and I, I'm not sure what the the uh, Irish spaz. Vanos has, Vanos has like no connection to his his viewers at all. He just makes videos. Yeah, Vanos and... is a fuckboy. He's not gonna say anything. Markiplier might. And then Vanos the literally, one. like, his channel is literally just funny moments. Yeah, funny moments. Funny, yeah, funny to fucking 10-year-olds. Jesus Christ, that shit, oh my God, that's another conversation. Yeah. <laughs> but that... it's, it's quite funny, because in the racing community, realistically, no one's particularly kid-friendly. I feel like an, another thing, too, that I've seen on Slap Trains Twitter is... Um, just, just like in general, there's really no huge racing YouTuber because, on average, Slap Train gets like maybe 40k, 50k per video. Uh, I mean, I, I guess subscribers gain total. I, it would be Slap Train, but I'm just it's saying. Theo at, or Air 12, at, isn't it? In general, yeah, it would be um Air 12 or Theo, but in general, Air you you look at Slap Train and you don't really see him as that big of a YouTuber because. Um, it's that, and also, I, I haven't noticed this until I looked at his Twitter, but Slap Train really does, um, promote a lot of smaller people's channels on his Twitter. Oh, no, he does. I can imagine that. I was thinking this the other day. I'm, I'm just not that type of person. If I pushed, like, my videos to, to the Slap Train, like, you know, my montages and stuff. Yeah. I recommend, the, I rec eh, recommend, I reckon he would acknowledge them because he has retweeted me a couple of times when i when i have tweeted him but i'm just he does i have shown he's shown he has he's not i it's one of those things it's like I, you don't want to ask for help yeah yeah i don't want to go around like begging people to oh uh, i don't even really like tagging gaming companies sometimes but, do your own work isn't it is that, 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 that mentality yeah. it's like, i don't it's yeah. not, not for them to, like, what's one video going to do in the long run? I, like, are you, I've learned that from doing YouTube for years. I've learned it ages ago now. It's one of those things, what's one retweet going to do? Fuck all. 
what's one video going to do? Well, fuck all. What? Realistically, what matters is that like long term, it's you building it organically. One retweet, that's what it's going to do is going to give you a view boost, and that's it for one video. It's not going to do fuck all. Um, I, I feel like one thing that really annoys me is. In, in okay you look at a video and then you read the comments right and you see the top comment saying hey check out my youtube channel you click on it and it's just some kid playing minecraft yeah it pisses me off when people um advertise in the comments that's why yeah, every time people annoying. are like hey feel free to check out my chat fuck off i delete their comment that goes to spam anyway i do it that yeah, it, it, it yeah that usually to goes anyway. to spam because they link their channel usually and then that's... if you link something even if it's like something relevant to the video you just get put in spam. And there have been not... times when people would link like images that are like related to or just stuff generally. Like I was like I'd have a discussion video and someone would link an article relating to the topic and their comment I would never see it because it would just go into the yeah, spam filter. I get that. But like when people say check out this, check out that, it's like you yeah, that's, that's, just... don't, that's got nothing to do with the topic at hand. Just please leave. <laughs> And I don't even when they try to sneak it, when they try to sneak it in too, like they wrote this long ass like paragraph. Yeah, they'll write good video. You can kind of tell they know what they're talking about that they don't at the same time because they haven't probably watched all the video. And then say, oh, I did this at the same time. He's like, good video. I also did the same challenge on my my. And it has no real context. But when there's like a when there's like something where YouTubers like criticizing something and then someone's in the comments like oh yeah i always never do that on my well, channel I made, I, I made a commentary about this you should check it out and it's like yeah come on no. man, it's obvious what you're trying to do <laughs> well no no i feel like sometimes like just responding no nah. i'm all right thanks. i remember when i was uh 10 fred was the biggest youtuber and i would go on the this it wasn't the actual videos it was the um channel comment section i would I would say, hey, check out look my Lego videos. Fred, now look at him. Where is he Check at? out my Lego videos. Fred, that's mad Where's Fred at? About. Mad to think about. What Fred do you think, got what, a TV what, what, deal. Do you, think, do you think YouTube are going to listen? I, I'm 50-50. Well, I'm 50-50 well, too. I think they could, but at the same time, I doubt. Yeah. Considering uh, their site was built off of... Social network, innit? Yeah, it was, it, it, social, it, it was built for people to create. It wasn't built for TV um, networks to promote their shows. It wasn't built for movie companies to promote their movies. It was built for people, ordinary fucking human beings, to make videos for entertainment purposes. It didn't even start with, oh, they could make money off it in mind. That wasn't a thing for a very... For, that wasn't a thing. And when it did become a thing, it wasn't a thing for everyone. It was a thing for a select group of people. So the fact that that's what youtube is for it's for people if they do not listen to their people then how the what 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 i don't understand what are they planning what direction do they want to go in what do they want to do what does google want to do with youtube because right now google are fisting youtube in the ass and it's pissing me off i like, think that's where it's, it turned upside down was in google google on oh yeah uh, that's everyone says that that's not like common like, everyone always says as soon as google had it the google plus integration was the think the start of it yeah, and then it kind of just all escalated from there. I don't think they're gonna do anything. I think it's gonna be more of the same. I think... They might say they'll do something, but then then they won't. Yeah, I think it won't revolve. They might say they will. Do you remember how long like... it took to get a reply from the whole copyright thing? I still haven't seen a change. And then yeah, even then they're, they didn't really actually... do anything. They you said we're strike? listening to you, and then they. Since then, I've got a copyright strike. My first copyright strike, which I disputed in one, but I thought things were supposed to change. Yeah, mm, this, this is me. really them. They're like, we're listening, we're listening. It's like, it's... I don't know how, there's, there's not an analogy I can use because it's the first time I've been told by a company they're going to do something and then literally do the opposite thing. And it's like, I don't understand. It's, it's so annoying because there's no um, competition. No competition. Mm. <laughs> I mean, have you seen like, Vimeo? I think... Have you seen the state of Vimeo? It's fucking dead. It's awful. Oh, it's critical actually said this and I actually do think this could be a good idea. Uh, Pornhub should create a video sharing service for like to com compete with YouTube. They Critical said could. That. they genuinely yeah, could. That's they what you don't realize. That's the thing. <laughs> they Pornhub, if you're watching this, they get bank off browsers. You best believe. Pornhub, they, get, you, they get bank off all their fucking sites. They've got like a network of porn hey, sites. Pornhub, if you're watching this, I have a big dick, and you should create a video sharing. You don't service. have a you big dick at you all. Your dick's tiny, so you I don't know why you got it. into It's you probably the size bag. of the palm of your hand. You genuinely, you probably use those two fingers to wind. <laughs> so um, they're a big dick. 
was going okay. to say. <laughs> yeah, Vimeo is a different type of website, though. That's more professional. You would never see, like, imagine, Wait, what like, imagine, imagine us uploading Drivecast to Vimeo. Just wouldn't fit, would it? Well, wouldn't fit no. alongside what the documentaries and the, and like the social, so actual proper social experiments, not the fucking cancer on YouTube, is like, and then you've got us. Do you want to know something? Sorry. Do you want to know the actual worth of Pornhub.com, I'm the out. site alone? The worth of that is three billion dollars. They, they, there are a lot of people wanking in the world, people. You know, understand there are a lot of niggas jacking their meat and fingering their pussies and fisting <laughs> their assholes. Porn. I'm telling you, if that there's a, it's a woman that owns Pornhub. I forgot her name. But oh yeah, she she uh, manages the account. Hold she, on, let me look she it up. needs to holler. Area. It's the she Aria needs to holler area. and. and she actually genuinely should. If she get in, con- it, get in contact with Amazon or something, I don't know. Make some Amazon. Amazon like, genuinely do that, video. you know. Amazon I was thinking like... that. I was thinking that Amazon could. I think Amazon as a company could genuinely do that. They're they're very established in the How videos. How would you start? Yeah. That's the yeah. thing. How would you start? How would you get everyone off that website? How would you get I everyone exactly off YouTube? How? Oh, you get PewDiePie on there. Yeah, but that's just PewDiePie. It, it would take and then, and then, a and lot then, of people, people listen then. And then you get the mm. next biggest person. You get H3 over there. Mm. And, then, and, and then you get Phil Frank over there. And maybe that, uh, may, maybe the partnership system is to the point where, like, Amazon themselves, not no third-person part, Amazon themselves are paying for you to come over. And it's ex- and the partnering system is exclusive again. It's not like it's where anyone can get a partnership. It's exclusive. You've got to work your ass off to get that partnership. Yeah, there may, there may, that's there may, the thing, though. There may be people start, start uploading on Amazon and YouTube. And then there's, a little, then there's a rivalry, and there's a difference. That's the thing, though. In 2012, when I was trying to get my partnership, when I had, like, 300 subs, I was like, hey, holla holla, Machinima, and they didn't respond to me. I'm like, well, shit. Hey, holla holla, RPM Network, and they're like, hey, here you go, Fuck, suck my wing. Now, and I, I, think, <laughs> I think you're pretty happy now that that happened. Um, I, I, okay, the only reason why I did it for, and I've said this before in Drivecast maybe twice before, but it was because the banner, and yeah. what was the other thing, thumbnails. Yeah, same reason. The thing yeah, is same about reason. all that is, right, Amazon could well, they could do that, they could, but there are so many established YouTubers on YouTube right now that have, they, 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 they make money, they live off YouTube. To just throw YouTube away, even though the YouTube is still supporting them, I don't feel like it would. It, I don't feel like they would feel like, oh, I'm going to leave this site to go over to Amazon because they're already established in what they're so doing. Amazon come over with a contract and say, we're making this new service. It's going to compete with YouTube. We're going to have, you know, 4K this, 4K that, the, the, the VR. La, 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 la. Think about all the think about all the people that don't really look at YouTube in the sense that we do, where they just use it. But you, no, no, but that, that's the thing: is the hardcore people will go first, and the casuals will follow. It's yeah. Like, like when, if... when, when YouTube first started, it wasn't like that. It was just people who wanted to find videos, find videos. There, like, w- I... there, there wasn't anything before YouTube. But that's like, my that point: is it. when you first come onto YouTube. I mean, for me, and the gaming side at least was born out of hardcore people wanting to find stuff and the gaming part is still the biggest so that's a good example of it it's hardcore for me personally it was, hard, it was me wanting to find more tips on card back in the day and then it expanded obviously but mm. if amazon can capture that hardcore audience of beauty sports whatever and bring him over the casuals will follow if it's a better platform which if, if yeah. the subscriptions work, if the comment section's better, if the way the likes and the recommendations are better, if all of that, if the live streaming, Twitch, it's just Twitch, they could partner tell, with tell Twitch. me, tell me, a Twitch on demand wouldn't work. Hold up a sec. A Twitch on demand could fucking like yeah. rip into YouTube. Twitch, Twitch is, they act- you actually, Twitch is owned. Work. Twitch is owned by no, Amazon. It is, yeah, it's owned by yeah. Amazon. Because they bought it, it was going to be Google who bought it, but then Amazon bought it instead. You can, you can up- it would have you fucked can... over Twitch as well. It would have killed that. In the fucking you can process. upload videos to Twitch, but Twitch is really anal about when they upload videos because there's all this issue. Like if so you upload Amazon a video with copyright content, they were going to completely redo that. And they were going to do Twitch Go. That actually really could work. That's gay. Twitch Go. That is an awful name. Sorry, I know you're only sketching, but Twitch Go is an awful name. No go. But like, I think, I think Twitch could stay as Nit Twitch, just the name yeah. Twitch. 
I think I could gaming work. currently now, so that's the only issue with that is because it would need to be broader. Yeah. Because of obviously mm. your oh, yeah, 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 fashion yeah, and gaming. all that kind of stuff. I mean, you do I have mean, Barbara Ass on uh, Fuck those YouTubers. Fuck the, the Slice of Life YouTubers. Just fuck them. That's just us gaming YouTubers. <laughs> just get our own site. <laughs> I don't even Gosh. know, man. It's, uh, it's, it's such... It's worrying, because I've said this many times before. I'll say it again. This is what I want to do after uni. Basically, mm-hmm. uni is kind of a backup plan in that regard. Um, but it's... It's getting more unstable. After the CEO came out and said that we're fixing issues... It's now getting more unstable. It's odd. It's odd. It's odd. It's and this odd fucking that. CEO don't fucking ch- don't she just chat shit, just chat shit. And I, I never see replying to actual like smaller YouTubers on her Twitter when that's a fucking job. That's your job is to fucking to reply to YouTubers, not these big ass people who lick in your fucking va- saggy vagina. It's your job <laughs> to reply to people like us for people in the comments of this video, not to fucking lick. I don't know. PewDiePie's ass, well maybe not PewDiePie, maybe Zoella's ass, because they like, oh look at me, I'm in YouTube, fuck off, why don't you fucking talk to me about the issues instead of licking their ass about how you already knew, you be, oh look at me, I'm in YouTube Rewind, I didn't completely go to the shoot to find out I was in YouTube Rewind, you fucking twat, how about you go to the fucking HQ and say, oh this is what, oh, oh thanks for They wouldn't, here. yeah, that's um, the thing, they wouldn't, they don't want to, they don't want to risk the connections and ties they have with these people because they're making and bank. You lose your credibility. They don't care. The thing is, guys who are making bank, never going to watch this video, but anyway, I'm going to talk to you. You're making bank off YouTube. Big money. Like, moolah, mo- young moolah, baby. That young type of money. Moolah, baby. Okay? <laughs> You're making all that money. Everything's nice, fine and dandy. Two minutes, t- t- a couple, couple minutes later, guys, what's going to happen? YouTube's gonna fuck up and you're not gonna have any more money you fucking dumbass bitch So guess what you need to fucking make some noise nigga cuz we can't make noise cuz we tiny we tiny like CJ's penis We ain't big <laughs> like we ain't big like KSI's big dick So we need to come and make some money 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 ourselves Nikki And you know what we need to do we need to go up to YouTube HQ And we need to fuck that Susan bitch in her nose cuz she ain't listening right now <laughs> Jay, <laughs> like, we're, Jay. Gonna, we're gonna die Words of wisdom, Jay what, what what you and Cam should do is um in 10 days when CJ's flying out to Kelly, you sh- you guys should too. And I- I'm looking at her Twitter right now. It says she lives in Mountain View, California, which is like which... 40 minutes away from me. We get to get, <laughs> we could go to her and fuck her in the ass and be like, <laughs> no, bitch, I- I- I'm gonna I'm tell you what to do. I'm gonna stop fucking you. you until my sub box is fixed. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not the ass, not the ass. <laughs> and then rape just, jokes, rape jokes. Her. No, but like seriously, it- it's a joke that she does. Oh wait, are you on her Twitter right now? Yeah, look Susan, whack it, whack it, whack it, the fucking Look at her replies. Let's see, tweets and replies. Look at her replies. So um, tell me who she replies from. Okay, so as far as replies, all I see is her regular tweets. I'll look at the last thing that she um she replied to. Because if there's no what is name, like, Susan, what? How do you spell her last name? Whack it, whack it, whack it. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Nothing. I don't, I don't see Susan any. Susan um... Watch Seasicky. What kind of name is that? Uh, it's Susan. Fam. She, I bet she was one of those fucking, like, skeleton bitches who was saying, why are you watching YouTube when, like, in, when it wasn't popular? And, like, she's what? the fucking How CEO. How did she get in charge of it? Who even is she? she How have, did she? She must have worked at Google. That's the only, only, only kind of real explanation I can think of. But, like, how the fuck she... I, I bet, I bet in 2007, yeah, if her fucking son was watching YouTube, she'd be like, get off that, do you? Go out of bank and watch TV with the family. I bet that was the, the stupid bitch she, she is. Like, she, she's not listening, don't care. It's like, you go in the comments and it's literally... T- everyone's telling her to fix her site. Everyone is saying fix the site. Fix yeah. YouTube, please. Fix YouTube. YouTube with a fucking nose sign on it. Fix YouTube. Maybe you should start reading comments. Hold like, on, I'm looking now. Hold up. It's ridiculous. She People are shouting at her and she's not listening. No one's listening. The YouTube aren't listening. The, the, her, every single YouTube account is getting tweeted that the YouTube ma- the main YouTube account has got 65 million followers. What the fuck? You know, the, the, the um, what's the other one? The the creators one, that yeah. ironic, the, the audacity they've got calling it that. They don't fucking care. 
They don't care about creators. They're promoting fucking Seth Meyers and fucking Jimmy Fallon. Like, I'm not even American. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, my goodness. I, I could literally go on about this for hours. On I end. literally see some guy just white knighting YouTube here in the comments. Just, like, like someone said, fix YouTube, Susan. This guy goes, fix what? And this guy is, oh, my well, God. They're obviously retarded. Cause yeah. If, they, if people genuinely don't think there's an issue, they're retarded. It's as simple as that. You, you're all retar- you are retarded if you do not see the issue with um, YouTube at the moment. Absolutely I stupid. I really hope it's more than one YouTuber that starts deleting their channels. Hmm? I really hope it's more than just one, like, obviously PewDiePie at the moment. Why if, if bigger YouTubers did it? Or more? They're not. Yeah, so again, are they going to do that? They're making money, so if they're comfortable, they don't need to in their eyes. And I, I am looking down at um the 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 fucking ads at her. I'm just going to show you guys this. I was listening to it. Hold on. I'm just going to show you guys this. It's literally people are making memes. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the final, right. final evolution of Susan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally just a dish. Uh. <laughs> like people are genuinely like harassing this bitch. Does she not understand there's a fucking issue? Oh my God. <laughs> Going way back to what we were talking about, Pornhub. <laughs> it's... It's like it's it's ranked sixty in the mo- the world's most viewed website. <laughs> Think about how many websites are off for a minute, <laughs> and it's in the sick <laughs> horny fox man Jesus. <laughs> and no, it's not like people go on Pornhub like a day like you know as a daily thing. When you go on Pornhub, you go on it in your own time and for a select time. You're not the je- the average person anyway. You know you know there's no niggas them niggas that got the subscription and the HD and they watch it on the 4K <laughs> TV and shit. But most people are like that. People when they go on porn, hey, it's if a you session. Have 4K TV, you're telling me you wouldn't want us to pause in their skin? Not really. I, 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 <laughs> I don't think it's worth the time. In all seriousness, no, I don't think I'd watch porn in fucking 4K. Why not? Now, if you're VR, alone. VR, no, if, yeah, if, if, VR, if your TV was here VR. in your setup, yeah. You and you have stereo speakers in like a little ho- in-home cinema. No, I don't. Wa- I don't. I don't watch. In- I listen. I don't listen to porn blasting out of my computer. CJ does. <laughs> CJ does. You know, fucking a sub. I and wish the I bass could. is just. <laughs> I, wish I, could. I, wish I, I wish I had speakers for my computer so I could do that. Just <laughs> all over the walls here. Nah, um, but yeah, like, no, porn up. Come on, man. Come through, do something. They could, they could hey, like. Well, I mean, hey. come through. The, you know, they've got the same system, monetization system in their in porno videos. So Pornhub are looking after their, they they're looking after their and creators it, it, more it, it than gets you. Plus, I can't get, it gets past adblock as well because I've had that issue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it gets past adblock. So why can't YouTube? Why can't YouTube influence something like that? Give me the fucking, give me that motherfucking money, nigga. Get that motherfucking that's, money. That's something I fucking hate though, because you click on a video and it just pops up in another window. It's only it's a like, one second on, skip. Like after a second, you can skip it, so it's not an issue. You've been on oh the- no, but I, I'm saying the ones in general where you just click on the site and then all of a sudden one pops up. My no, uploader no, 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 no. is fucked. I'm talking about on Pornhub. Um, basically, yeah. it just pops. It, not not with that. Oh yeah, I, I, I've had that before, but I'm saying like. When you click on it, just another window pops up, and it's like, "Oh, come fuck me, daddy!" <laughs> yeah. It's like, "Come and bo- come and bet roulette six six five. <laughs> um, have you ever been on one of the videos by like the community, and it does this thing at the start? It goes, "Da Yeah. I'm gonna start uploading on porn. Can I be serious for a second? Can I be serious for a second? All right, because we've all, we've all talked, you know, me and Joe have said this so far in this podcast, kind of applies to all of us though, we all would like to do this one day as a full-time thing, that's like a dream job, I think it's fair enough to yeah. say. Hmm. Does it not make you scared? That it might not work because of you two fucking up. Not, not for any fault of your own. Not for, I'm not like, afraid to stop because I enjoy creating, but I'm, I would like, you can't, like right now I'm in limbo where I have to put a lot of attention into what I'm doing at college and Same. living and stuff. Same. I can't just put my all into YouTube because I have to do other real life things. Yeah. And YouTube right now is not real life for me. And I want it to be real life because I enjoy doing it. I, I like I Exactly. Why am why would I Preach baby. 
Imagine would, if we were all where Theo is right now. Why Just would I that. Not work towards or put all my effort into doing this and being able to live comfortably and not struggle in life and do what I enjoy? People may see it as, oh, he's just money. He, he just wants some money. Or No, that's not the case. Money is a fucking plus on the side of it. What the main thing is for me is that I'll be able to do something that I enjoy every single day of my life. And like, I'd rather do that than go out and fucking work for someone, be fucking talked down to by my supervisor and my manager, come home late, fucking tired as fuck. Yeah. Fuck that noise. I don't want to do it. I'm not interested in that. So no, it's money's just one of those things you need to live. Exactly. You, so it's, it's, unfortunately, if you don't understand that. It's your problem. It's one of those things. Of course, you like if you're doing YouTube for a living, you want that money because you need to fucking survive. And if you're telling me that you don't want to get like certain things because those are, like your dream aspirations, or you're fucking mad. You're stupid. Money does matter. Anyone who says you don't money doesn't matter. Yeah, obviously it may not be the main cause. I'm in the same like view as PewDiePie. It's reaching my audience is more important. But I'm not going to sit here in line saying money isn't important. Of course, I want to get an R32 for YouTube. Imagine how fucking amazing that would be. Because I'm not just doing it for me. I'm sharing that experience with everyone else. It's not like it's not just me. It's like it's more of a broad experience. I'm 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 not saying that. Nine's laughing for some reason. I don't know why. But it's... I, I'm gonna tell you a little something right now, real quick. Theo with the R34. That's never gonna happen. He's gonna spend all of his money before yeah. he even gets <laughs> close to buying it. No, but like it's like. Money does matter. What, I don't know why. I don't understand why people say money doesn't matter. You need it to fucking survive. Why do you think these, like, people have signed charities to help people who don't have it? It's like, it does matter. But at the same time, I, I don't know. It, reaching an audience, when you can't do that on a site where that literally the whole thing was broadcast yourself, but I can't do the fucking broadcasting if subboxes don't work or the recommendations don't work. So what do you fucking expect? It's, it's, it's stupid. And it makes me scared because I, I want to do this. Same boat as Jay. And at the moment, in the, if it keeps on going the way it's going, it's literally been downhill. It's literally been downhill. It's only got worse. So uh, where, where is it going? Where is it going? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you're going to make the desktop site literally look like the mobile site. Yeah. You're making it worse again. You're making it so some channels for the channel art, they can't even control the colour. Yeah. My, my, my main colour is purple. It, it's, like it's like it's, grey? It's like it's taking away the creativity aspect. It's taking away the personalisation that it had. And it's dumbing it and num becoming, numbing it down. It's becoming so much more conformed. That's the issue. Mm. And it's yeah. like, it's it's becoming more normal. I don't want it to be normal. The whole point in YouTube is to be retarded. To be <laughs> dumb. To find those funny, ridiculous videos. Like Pimp My Wheelchair. You know, like fucking just random shit. Like fucking Joseline Hernandez rapping down the mic. There's like, <laughs> this, you, that is the reason why I come to you. I don't come to come to YouTube to watch fucking damn Daniel. Fuck off. Oh, fuck off with a damn Daniel bullshit. Miss me with that. I don't don't need any of that in my life. I can't, I come to YouTube for like the meme stuff. The 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 stuff that actually will make me laugh. I come for YouTube to watch car people customize cars. I come to YouTube to see new game releases. I come, you know, I don't come to YouTube for generic shit. I can if I want to go watch generic shit, I'll go to TV. I feel like YouTube slowly becoming like TV. And I don't want it to become like TV because that's not the reason why it became popular. Inevitable though, isn't it? It's getting it's getting that big that companies are seeing that that's what people are watching. They need to get on that. They need to start promoting their stuff. That that that's how business and that's how the media and the world of money is. It, 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 that's how it works. YouTube's just coming in its line of fire at this point. I, I feel like. The fact that, you know, Nina mentioned it, the fact that all these news people, news channels and, and TV networks have YouTube channels that are in trending and stuff and they're being pushed when I've there are people... Have you seen video, Jay? Which one? The one where he talks about the trending tub. Yeah, I think so, yeah. 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 It's just bizarre that they're not promoting, like, people that put hours and hours and hours... Yeah, and it's kind of... Like, it, it, I find it useless as far as that new sh that new shit because NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, they're already promoting that. YouTube mm. is just an extra thing. It's it's completely unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It's just like the 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 network is already promoting their shows. They're trying so to why kill does... you. If you think about it in like like blankly, 
ABC and all those other people you, you just mentioned, they're trying to kill YouTube. They don't want YouTube to succeed because that's what's killing that. But YouTube don't see that. How yeah, can it's you not killing see TV. That? It's killing TV. How can you not you, see YouTube, that? YouTube, YouTube promoting is bad for your platform. Definitely, because what it's not like oh, once what do they think that they're gonna migrate onto YouTube or something with their shows? You should tell them to fuck off. No, uh, that's that's scary to think about. What if TV becomes so obsolete, no one watches it to the point where they start moving all their shows? And what if it becomes that? Like, that's the exact opposite. YouTube want YouTube don't want TV to come here. They they should be telling YouTube to fuck off, and they should be not in that trending tab. The fact that the whole trending tab is sponsored and it's not clear isn't that illegal? Isn't it illegal what? not to put a hashtag ad? If it's in trending, because it's literally it's, advertisement. It is advertisement. That, Madon- that Madonna karaoke video that I was talking about with the whole James Corden late night thing is on 790k after 21 hours. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong. That's not exactly amazing. That is not trending. No, it's it, not. No, that is no. not trending. More, more. Another one. There's a, a late night show with some nigger I've never heard of. 172k after 19 hours. That is not trending. What that number is, on trending is it? Pardon? What number on trending is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. In the world? On YouTube? That's like what? If one of Theo's videos is really, really well? Mm-hmm. Basically? Oh, that's that's the only for speed launch views. That's, I, I don't, they're promoting it. They are, they're pushing them in there. There's, there's no way that's naturally going in there. I they're found another that. one. I found another one. It's one day ago, the Alex Jones channel, 31k. Nah, it's bizarre. And these are TV networks. I just... It's scary, though. Like, it's just proving that something's happening, man. Something bad is happening to YouTube, and I hope hope that someone or some people, some loudmouths can make it. movement, 12 hours ago, 45k. They still make music! Exactly. (laughs) Okay, <laughs> you're telling me they're trending. You're I heard me, uh, them uh, niggas since music. like a G six. Yeah, like them a niggas. G6. Well, them Asian niggas. No, literally, like you're telling me that shit that's not on Chill Trap Nation, whatever, is not more trending than that. They get more views in an hour than that, surely. Like it's a joke. It's oh, it's just it just gets I mean, me pissed. And come on, have you ever seen iDubs in trending or Filthy Frank? No, you would never see them in my world. Like, you would never videos, see anything from those them. Those videos get like a million in a day. You music. would never see like Kickstarter crap or anything like that in trending ever. But that's what builds YouTube. That is what makes it so popular. It's bizarre, man. And you don't. I never saw any of those YouTubers in in, in, re, in re, that rewind shit. Even I though H two H three, Die Dubs, they've all kind of been very fucking huge this year. Fucking Keemstar, Leafy, they weren't there. Parasynical, they weren't there. And to be honest, they're like the the like they've been big to to in my face. They've been pushed in my face this year. I didn't really know who they were last year. Really, I didn't really genuinely know who Leafy was Minus last year. H three, I think. Yeah, I think Keemstar. that's the only one who I know. Who, yeah. Like I, I Dubs was introduced to me this like at the, was it the start of this year? Like the end towards the end of last year, and same with. Filthy Frank, even though Filthy Frank's been on the internet for ages, I've probably seen him before. But as a internet person, as a YouTube personality, I've not known who he was. Yeah, my phone just rang someone. Sorry, but um, I I don't see it. Like I'm only seeing these fucking glossy, fucking pampered, cut out YouTubers that are just basic as. Fuck, like some boring ass. I'm trying to look through it. I can I only know one from there, and that's MKBHD, and that's because I watch him because he's a tech channel. He ain't gonna say shit. He's clean cut. He's a, he's one of those guys. that's probably not afraid to say. He's probably afraid to say nigger because he's too fucking it's too edgy for him. Like that's <laughs> literally. He's probably probably disgusted by the word. Like, yeah, that's the type of guy he is. And they they pick those types of people in it. Those types of people who just are too clean. Can't yeah. say shit about them. Too clean. But like it <laughs> YouTube's not clean. Then you're fucking recommending recommending most people fucking Korean porn. Oh my god, fucking Niner. Bird easy. Look oh, how yeah, big he's he's been. Up. 
He's all right. Yeah. He's ma like yeah. mainstream though. Oh, he's not, oh no, he's definitely not. Okay, mainstream. in comparison to everyone else on there, there's some people that I've never yeah. heard before on there, and they have like also seven hundred. Great underway. When he was blowing up, did you see him on trending? Oh shit, yeah, forgot about him. But the thing, all right then. Here's my thing about the Burley Easy thing, right? His exposed videos <laughs> never ever peak under six hundred thousand. And most of them are on a million, over a million. The most, I think the most viewed one, because he went viral on YouTube and other sites too, because the, the, the stuff got shared. The Black most people Twitter, yeah. Most viewed one ever, which got 4 million views, was only, that, that was eight months ago. And he, he only started, he started this like last year. He's not even been on YouTube for like two years yet. So how's that not trending? How are his videos never on trending? I don't... He's a very underground... Like, he's never on the surface. I've never seen him, like, being promoted anywhere. I've always had to go to his channel. There was a few channels... You know what else is annoying? You know what else is annoying? And it adds to what you're saying. Back mm -hmm. in the day, trending used to have categories. So you could have categories in the gaming, you could have categories on this, and there was actually the videos that were trending. It wasn't none of this BS. And, yeah. it, and I'm pretty... Was it rated between, like, subscriber to view count? Or something across those lines? Or was it just view count? No idea. It was something different. Regardless of categories, when they got rid of those categories, that was when it started to normalise, and that was when it, they started to kind of manipulate it, I guess is what you're going to say. Mm. And especially before when like it was trending like that, if you had a channel of decent size, you could quite easily, even if you weren't you, like, particularly big, you could get into that trending. And that was, some, that was a goal for people to get into. I remember back in the day, I used to watch someone called Hutch before he was big. And, um, like, he said, oh, I got into the training tab the other day. And it was something which he felt accomplished to do. And then they just got rid of it. And mm. then, th I remember, like, people used to ma people used to manipulate it. They used to put their COD videos in automotive because no one else would upload in it. And they would just get number one in it, and it would be number one there, because that's the first thing you see. And it's like, even then, there's that element of competition which isn't there anymore. And, mm. like, I don't know, I feel like ever since... It, it's kind of that, like now... Now it's like who can make the most clickbaitiest title with the most clickbaitiest thumbnail and succeed. Hmm. We've all been there. I'm not gonna sit here in the yeah. line and say I haven't. All my watchdogs videos were like that because I know the choice. Like you choose. Okay, but way. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, uh, it's like a red thumbnail and it says if you um, cannot arrows. see the blue in this thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, Luke, Luke, it, it has nothing, it has nothing to do, it has nothing to do with arrows. It's just, it's just a red thumbnail and it says if you can't see blue in this yeah. picture, you have cancer. Like <laughs> videos like that. I, when, <gasps> when, when you when you first said it, the first thing that came to mind was like a video that says like new car and it's like a picture of an event store, loads of arrows and a red circle around it. You click on it, it's someone in a Corsa. That's what that's what that's why that's why I first thought of when you said it. And it's like, it, it, we were talking about this before, it makes sense to why Horizon videos haven't done too well. Obviously, mm. videos aren't being recommended to other people through suggested videos. They're only going through subboxes. So basically, if you're very subbox heavy, it's not too much of an issue. I think that's why a lot of my videos, in in for certain videos, like for certain things I do, they're not been too bad. But when I, you know, go off into Horizon 3 or branch off a bit too much, like I did a procedure mode video yesterday, and I did, um, obviously, Forza today, and like... It's one of those things, because it's new, obviously some box people will watch, but less of them will watch, and it's not getting suggested to other channels, or or the, or the place, it's not qualifying for suggested videos as much. This is what I was talking about, so like, this was uploaded by, uh, uploaded by the Pro Gamer J six days ago, six million views, and it's titled, If you can only see the color red, you're colorblind, and it's legit just a red thumbnail. Six million views, and there's this other one at the top that says, Trick your eyes to be colorblind by the pro gamer J again. Eight million views three weeks ago with a th with a thumbnail of a banana on before and it's just a regular banana and then after where it's like purple and uh, shit. I've seen that. Gamer, sorry, is that what his name is? Gamer, he's got gamer in his name. Pro gamer J. Yeah. He should be fuck. Do you know what? He should be fucking executed. I spent time on my thumbnails. Beheaded. Fucking beheaded. To make me think. Gaming. To make me think that he just puts red. Just red things there. Just red. And red. I'm and I'm sitting here, like, I spend, like, at least half an hour. Sometimes, like, it's... Ugh, I don't even understand that. I don't even understand that. How are you not a reward in hard work? Mm. If, oh, you, just, just basic if you see shit. red in this thumbnail, you are dead. It's just basic. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm tempted just to put, put this red. 
red thumbnail and I just put Drivecast and it went in white. <laughs> oh, like, like just name it. Um, if the thumbnail is red, uh, uh, you haven't you watched should Drivecast. This. You, should, no, you, should, you know what you should do? You should go go along YouTube's lines. You should make this video. You should call this video Fix YouTube because that's what's trending right now and it'll get clicks. Hey. Let's well, just put this Korean porn. Yeah, definitely. Just, <laughs> just, like just get Niner <laughs> to um, just flash his lips. Just Photoshop Niner's face onto like Korean porn. Uh, <laughs> and like, can I can have you as the black guy. Interracial. Let's go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I can tell Richard's giving that smile where he's pretending to think like, hey, this is pretty funny, but in the inside he wants to murder us all. No, I just want to kill myself. <laughs> it's lit. They all know you're not Asian, no, no, come on. It wasn't that damn Daniel thing in the fucking YouTube rewind. I, I saw it on Twitter, I haven't seen the video. Yeah, yet. yeah, it was fucking but, cancer. Uh, but do you know yeah. what should have happened at that set? Everyone should have just got shot up. I haven't <laughs> watched it, I refuse to watch, watch like, anything from it. I, I, I'm not I, watching The fact it. that YouTube are just literally tweeting about it constantly, I feel like actually punching one of them in their face. It's very, in, it's, it's very patronizing. It's like you're rubbing it in our faces. Fix your fucking site. Stop telling me about 4K streaming. I don't care. Fix your site. It's absolutely ridiculous. What did they, what did they announce the other day? Hold on, I'm going to try to find out. They announced something 4, the other day. 4K and I'm streaming. Like, how 4K do you streaming. have the fucking nerve to have a YouTube streaming. creator's account and boast this shit? It was 4K streaming. That's what they promoted. Was it? It was 4K, yeah, I think it was 4K streaming. Ooh, also, Let's speaking of here. YouTube, whatever happened to YouTube Heroes? What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. Remember? Was that the thing that, about the admins? E basically, yeah. I, I do remember. Where you can mass flag videos. Oh yeah. yeah. Whatever happened to that? I know the part where you could uh, add subtitles to people's videos. That's that got implemented, but. Yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't think any of the I other think stuff people, I, do, I think they thought about that stupid idea of mass flagging. Yeah. That is a ridiculous idea. I don't know who the fuck. I bet they're at the round table and some dickhead at the back like... When I first saw it, I thought it was a... I, when I first saw it, I didn't see it on their actual video. I saw it. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was like a joke video by some guy, but... Oh, no. This is... This is what I saw. This is what I saw. It was December the 2nd. And you'll never guess what video they... Advertised on their YouTube creators account. Never what? guess. It was a DIY Jello donut video. <laughs> DIY yeah. yeah, Jello dick. And that I'm sounds like, pretty good. Oh my god! Like that. That's 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 it. Like that's. It's literally like they're trying to, like, appeal to retarded eighteen-year-olds. Or five-year-olds. That's is literally like is is no other way around it. There's no other way around it. Ridiculous. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just the more I want, the more I talk about this, the more pissed off I get, and it's the more worried I get is because I know they're not gonna fix it. Hmm. It's sad. It really is. And the more yeah. I go down this fucking YouTube creators list, the shitty videos where people aren't even in fucking frame. You're not even in frame. What are you playing at? Like, there's someone doing a car vlog here, and they're literally the fucking camera is falling. It's like, come yeah, on, no. man. This is it, man. Like, what? I'm not the one to boast. I, it's kinda, I hate talking about myself, like my own channel and stuff. Like, I put so much effort into it. I put so much effort in, and it's ridiculous. Like the attention to, I, like. If I look back at a video from like three months ago, there are points where I can't even bear watching them because there's parts where I've seen where I've done something and it really irritates me that I've gone through with putting, why did I put that out? I was watching one of my favorite videos I tweeted about earlier, like uh, Rip the Streets 2. Mm. That's one of my favorite videos I've made because I don't know, just the feel of it and the song and the, everything just kind of worked out like I can sympathize very nice with that because I feel the same with that Outlawed one I made. But there are so many things in it that I would have done differently. Like, first of all, that whole resample thing that I only discovered a couple months ago. You think I could upload a video now that's got resample, like not disabled? It's disgusting. It makes it look all fucking weird and shit. And I couldn't yeah. upload a video with that. I couldn't do it. But like, there's certain things people just don't care about, do they? Like, 
I don't understand how you couldn't like. Uh, it's annoying. It's annoying, like seeing people not care, not put effort in, and not like just do it purely for the fact that they're making money from it, and that's it. And there are people like that. There are definitely yes. channels where that just didn't care. You know what I saw the other day? I just was curious, so um, I want to see if anyone re-uploaded the documentary. Um, so I just did a quick Google search or a bit quick YouTube search. Literally, channels that had made one already were just re-uploading it with the Neves 2015 and. Really? Really? The whole same thing, exact same video, and they still had the other one up because obviously it had loads of views, and it just had not 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 my documentary of their their just clips oh. of just them playing games. So it would be like one, two, three, and it was no commentary, no nothing. It was literally just the game and the yeah. soundtrack, and they just made twenty fifteen just because it gets views, and they and oh, it's pissing me off because like you see these fucking videos getting four million plus views for mm. a slideshow, and it's like. Mm. Fucking hell. The um, Need for Speed, I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch this uh, Need for Speed kind of documentary thing, but it was like what you described, no commentary, just music. But the thing is, that one that I watched as a kid is so old, it ends at carbon. It ends at carbon. I can't remember what you're talking about. That's I'm, how old it is. There's, there's loads of them. That's when I got yeah. the fucking idea of it. But it was like, literally just begging for, a, just... I don't understand what you put a bit more effort into. It. At least I mean, I don't. It as malicious, that's as malicious as you think it is. No, 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 I mean, no, no, no. Obviously, it's not a direct. I'm not saying everyone knows about mine. But I'm just saying, like, that's a prime example of like something the YouTube search bar doesn't do well. Mm-hmm. And like, it's one of those things where people just can't be asked. Is like because you could you could go to a bit more effort. Let's be honest. And it's not even just that. It's like just generally. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I feel like we've, we've literally talked about this for an hour. Yeah. So it's I think we should talk about Q&A topics now. Yeah. Um, I'm on Guantanamo Bay. Um, Drive Cast 93. Like all this hour. Uh, new it was like we just did that like two days ago. Yeah. Hold the cell. I want you to hold the cell. <laughs> Would you like to see Cross in the 2017 comes from the RX7? No. Sorry, what? Damn. Would you like to see it cross in Neve Speed 2017 and it comes from RX7, boy? No. As an Easter egg, sure. Yeah, as an Easter like egg. Like a reference to him, but... No, I don't mind references, but wouldn't it be a bit weird to see it? <laughs> no, yeah, it's just some old black egg. guy. I'm back. I'm back, bitch. <laughs> Maybe if it's animated. As it like wasn't a an- cameo. It wasn't animated. 2017. Yeah, but I'm saying Carbon, I mean, Miss Wanted was an animated, or Carbon. Like, they were live action. What would be funny is if um, Need for Speed 2017 was like um, a, a rehash of like Pro Street, like it was their own take on Pro Street because Pro Street was made in 2007. It's kind of like a 10 year thing that I I, th- I think that would be That funny. game was made 10 years ago. Yeah. Wow. That's a month. Huh. Well, okay. Carbon, Carbon just turned well, 10. It would, it would have been, yeah, next year it would be, yeah. Yeah, yeah next year it'll be 10. Time's moving too quickly. Carbon's just... 10 years old. Over yeah. 10 years old now. <laughs> and I'm, I still, I, every, time I went, I, like, every time I've gone home so far, I've played, played Most Wanted in Carbon. I remember, <laughs> I remember seeing Pro Street, you know them bus fucking, you know, bus stop advertisement? Mm. I remember seeing an advert on one of those. I remember distinctly seeing an advert with the fucking girls like this. <laughs> got ass. Showing, <laughs> I remember, and the RX7 was there. You know, the I fucking, remember the, the battle machine yeah. one. I remember. Oh. This is one of my earliest memories of being on the internet. I remember uh, on an either IGN or GameStop. Oh box, my god! Game with, the smoke, page. with the smoke. With the smoke. you no, about the gameplay was, with the smoke. No, it was just a. I remember reading an article when I was like six or seven about Pro Street. Oh, I before it came about, out, I thought you were about to drop the fucking E3 demo where someone's got a camera and it's just the RX-7 and they're talking about the smoke and he's just doing wheel spin and then the whole screen's just white. Yeah. That is I one do... of my earliest memories is literally of just just watching that video and it was madness to me at the time. I do remember the old websites that they had for each individual game. Like when you would go on Hot Pursuit yeah. 2's website, you would have yeah, like... Cop- you had to pick between, like, was it Flash or MP4 or whatever it was back yeah. in the day? And it, and it had like 3,200k as an option. Oh, that was ages ago. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, maybe it's a cameo. May- and maybe he can make a cameo if it was animated, but I'll be about it, really. Um, next one comes 
from Apple Slipper, and he says, "What general event did you dislike most in 2016? So like presidential election, Brexit." Dislike. Fucking hell, there's a lot to choose from. Um, David Bowie's death. Oh yeah, he's dead, isn't he? Oh, that was like the, that was like that was like five days. That was like that, five, that sounded bad. I'm sorry. I, that, <laughs> that was that was like ten days in the 2016. He died. Wow. No, like, it I, was I'm like a, an April. What? No, he died in January. No, he didn't. That was in January. I'm a big, I'm a big shit. David Bowie fan. <laughs> if I, you're, I, I like if you're wrong now, you're gonna make it look like an absolute fucking. Fall. January 10th. He died in oh, January. Mad. January. No, what the fuck? No, that. I I remember. I I, I feel like I watched that like three months. I feel like I watched that like four months ago where SourceFed did the little <laughs> bit on David Bowie. Oh well, yeah, when fucking um, Bree started crying on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, been, I've been on a plane twice this year, and I don't. It that's bizarre. Time's moving. I don't like it at all. Slow down. How do you slow down like the feel of time? Drugs. Uh, is... Look at look at a wall for like fifteen minutes. I don't feel like, like hours. going particularly fast in that regard. Yeah. Going too quickly and it needs to absolutely stop because it's scaring me. I can't believe school's already like at least the school year is almost halfway over. Yeah, it's almost halfway over, but then it yeah. still feels like it's it it feels like it should be September by the yeah. time I started school. Yeah. I don't feel like I don't know. I don't feel like that. I feel like it slowed down compared to last nah. year at least. That last year went way fast. Is it mad to think that literally, like, this time last year? Do you think it's free time? Do you, do you, because you you have a lot less free time this year than you do than you did last year. I don't know because I don't I've had arguably I didn't. Time. I've had a lot of free time and I feel like it's been still been going quick. I've, I've had literally pretty much like. May well, pretty much. If you think about it, April to September off, doing pretty much YouTube only, because of school with study leave. I didn't really do much after study leave because I just did YouTube, and then even in uni, I've had like a bit of free time. Like it's not like I'm jam. It's not like I was at A levels. A levels was harder. No. So arguably, it's I just been you. You've, you've been a lot life. busy. You've been a lot busier as far as going out and shit. But that 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 could argue, you could argue that like that makes you time pa- pa- that makes time pass quicker because you're doing stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But um, anyway, next question comes from the same place. The next question is: If you could be sponsored by any clothing brand, who would it be? Hmm. I don't know really many. Victoria's Secret clothing bands. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, um. I do like Bape. It's very expensive though, and what it's worn by very fucking cook people. Does, a Gucci. Does this, does this like cover like shoes and shit? I want to be sponsored by. What does that uh, mean? So what? What are you gonna say? I want. I, I want to be sponsored by uh, Nike because they make some really good shorts. I was mm-hmm. gonna say Adidas, Adidas, but I just realized like sport Mike, Nike is very general. Yeah, Nike makes better. Uh, Why are you saying just for shoes? They make clothes as well. Yeah, exactly. Nike makes really Nike makes really comfy shorts. I well, I don't, just... don't want an un- unlimited amount of shorts though. A bathing ape. Who? A bathing ape. Oh. Actually, I'm I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> retracting I'm retracting my answer. Ape. <laughs> Fucking I'm, I'm, racist. I'm retracting my answer. I'm going with uh, Under Armour. They make some quality. Clothing. Man wants unlimited um, Under Armour, you know. <laughs> That's his number one choice out of all of the clothing brands in the world is Under Armour. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> Make some comfy ass sweatpants. I'll just take hold uh, of ASOS. Hold of ASOS. Just, 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 just. If you, if it's possible for you to do that, click that link and look at like, just look at the prices. Oh, well, I, know, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> there's there's a coat for seven hundred fucking dollars. <laughs> Whatever, mate. You, I, I don't those even. Sneakers, I, those sneakers. sneakers are nice. The sharp picture ones. Yeah, I know they are. I used, my sister used to have a pair of those, and she gave them to me, and I fucking threw them away because I didn't know what bait was back then. Those are fucking <laughs> nice. Jeez. Didn't know what it was, but um, do you know the ripoffs of Air Max? Air, Air Force. 
Sorry. They are direct rips of Air Forces. They do, they rip off of the shoes. <sighs> That's hilarious. That still looks better. The bottom part with the fucking shot looks sick. <laughs> but it's very high quality clothing, obviously. They won't be fucking charging that price. All these fucking nasty American YouTubers are starting to wear it, though, and it's a bit annoying. Rice gum and I do shit. I kind of want those shoes. Those shoes are really nice. Anyway, Rice gum shit. With that being said, are we done here? Are we done? Those are the Q&A questions. We only had three. We only had three. So, niggas, if you want to ask some more for next week, you're going to shout out, holla, holla. What? <laughs> the real niggas will know. So, have you guys enjoyed no, they the won't. Drivecast? Nobody will know. Nobody will know. What episode was this again? I completely forgot. 94. 94. 94. 96. 94. Make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and see you. Remember, we'll add links down in the description. Any last words before we leave? Uh, right. Stay safe and peace. Stay safe and peace. <laughs> Don't melt. You almost forgot this week. Stay safe. And peace. And we. <laughs>